The case making national headlines, the father who authorities say abused and manipulated his daughter's classmates and others, even staying in his daughter's dorm at Sarah Lawrence College. Tonight, hear the chilling details of the abuse. That father is now facing 60 years in prison, and two of his victims are now speaking out to our Lindsay Davis. Tonight, we're hearing from two of the victims of Lawrence Ray, the father convicted of manipulating and terrorizing his daughter's friends. Why didn't you leave? I was so scared. He wouldn't let me sleep. He controlled what I was eating. He would yell at me. He would beat me. He took away everything that made me me. Ray was imprisoned on crimes of extortion, sex trafficking, racketeering, and conspiracy, among other charges. In 2010, he crashed at his daughter's dorm at Sarah Lawrence College in New York, gaining the trust of her friends, later moving to New York City, where prosecutors say he sexually, physically, and psychologically abused them. Daniel Levin says Ray hit him with a sledgehammer, held his tongue with pliers, and subjected him to sexual humiliation, saying he acted like a cult leader. People find themselves in abusive relationships, and I was convinced that if I was uncomfortable, if something felt bad to me, that that was because of something that was wrong with me. Felicia Rosario, who did not attend Sarah Lawrence, met Ray through her brother and started a romantic relationship with him. She says Ray emotionally manipulated and abused her. Please help me! What were you feeling in that moment? I don't remember. I blocked it out, and there's there's so many holes in my memory. But it's hard for me to watch, like, wow, that's horrible what he's doing to her. But it's it's she, not me. At what point did you decide enough? Um, I didn't. The FBI came. <laughs> the FBI came and arrested him, thankfully. It took them coming to get him for me to be able to even consider having um, a life again. And Lindsay Davis with us here tonight. All of this is so alarming to hear. And a lot of people at home, I would think, would be so puzzled as to uh, why no one on campus seemed to know this father was living in his daughter's dorm. Sarah Lawrence College says they did not know at the time. They said that when these crimes happened, he was not living on campus. But last month, the 63-year-old was sentenced to 60 years behind bars, effectively a life sentence, David. All right, Lindsay Davis with us here tonight. Lindsay, thank you. And Daniel and Felicia speaking out here. They're also featured in the docuseries Stolen Youth that launches tomorrow on Hulu. And then next week, much more of Lindsay's interview on Impact by Nightline, also streaming on Hulu next Thursday. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.